problems. I hope there's no problem in your in your outlook for today. Everything is just just fine. There's there's nothing that that bothers you. There's nothing that that's causing you to to have to anguish or to have a, a pain and uh, and and, and, uh, and suffering in your life. I hope everything is well. But I kind of doubt because when sin or when death came in, pain and suffering also came in as well. And it hasn't left today. Death comes as the strongest predator. I'm not talking about the ice hockey team in that. Death becomes the strongest predator on the face of this earth. Y'all know what a predator is? There are a lot of animals that are predators. Man is a predator. We lock on and we won't turn loose. A bear is a predator. A dog is a predator. Some worse than that. But predator, death is a predator. And death runs about the face of the earth relentlessly tracking down each victim. If I make black green man, all I've got to do is outrun. <laughs> there was a little little uh, joke I saw in a magazine one day. There was these two hunters out in the, in the woods and they were hunting grizzly bears. And they saw one and one of them took a shot and uh, missed. The other one took a shot and just grazed that old grizzly. You know what, what happens when you just hurt a, a, an animal, wild animal, don't you? They get mean. And that old grizzly figured out which way that bullet came from, and he saw those two standing there. And they say a grizzly bear can move very quickly. I've, I've heard how many miles an hour they can, can travel that. But they started at it. And this one hunter looked at the other one and said, What are we going to do? He was closing in. He said, I don't know about you, but all I've got to do is outrun you. And I'm safe. You will not outrun death. Death is a predator that, that goes about this earth relentlessly tracking down its victim. And he doesn't give up. If I run fast enough to life, I can give up. But death doesn't give up. Death catches us. And death wrestles us down. And when he wrestles us down, what he does, he takes us into to the rod and the mire of the grave. Folks, at the mere mention of death's name, man trembles. Whether you will admit it or not, every single one of you sitting in this room fears death. You may not fear it from a spiritual perspective, but you fear death. We tremble. That's death's birth and early. An obituary usually tells your, your ambitions and your, uh, your successes. Here's what might have been said about death. Death received word that the very Son of God had taken up upon himself human flesh and came to dwell among mortal men. Jesus came into this world just like you and I. If you cut him, he would bleed. If you hit him, it would hurt. If you pulled his hair out, that would hurt too. He hungered, he thirsted, just like you and I. And when death heard that, man, that Jesus had come as a mortal man, he probably said these words. If he's come in the flesh, 
these matters. Folks, death went along with the guards to the Garden of Gethsemane that day. Death went along with the crowd from the Garden to the House of Cages, and then to Pilate. Death was there. Death was the one that was whispering in the ears of the, the frenzied crowd, stirring them up to cry out, Crucify him! Crucify him! Death shouted with joy when he heard the words that Christ was to be crucified. His accomplishment. He was about to ruin and about to take the Son of God and put Him in the grave there to stay forever and ever. He caused the people to turn against him. He caused the, the leaders to crucify him. He caused everything that, that happened that day knowing that he was about to put an end to God's Son. But another thing that goes in the obituary is usually what brought you down. You know, in a few words, they say usually say died of an extended illness. When Jesus was buried in that tomb, that was the beginning of the end. Satan might have told him, Death, watch him well. Keep him over three days and his kingdom is yours. What was it Jesus said? Three days I'll rebuild that temple. Death, watch him closely. Keep him three days and his kingdom is yours. Day one went, went okay. They were probably celebrating everything was Good. Nothing out of the ordinary. He was still in, in the tomb. The rock was still there. The seal was still intact. Day two came. Everything was still good. The party intensifies. Jesus was about to be consumed. Jesus was about to be no more. The Son of God had failed his mission. Party intensifies. And on that third day, 